Good morning. My name is Alberto Lázaro and I'm going to present uh, our work entitled Introducing Heterogeneity Measurement in Terrac Study Application in Región de Marcada del Duero. Um, I worked in the, in the team led by uh, Dr. Gómez Miguel and Dr. Uh, Sotés. This uh, presentation was initially programmed to be driven by my colleague uh, Juan Quincámara, but a last minute issue pre prevented him to, to attend the conference. So, uh, when, we are talking, when we talk about soil particle size distribution, uh, it's a, we know that it's a complex distribution, but usually refers it in terms of mass, percent of soil, of clay, silt, and sand. Moreover, we can classify it qualitatively in, uh, according to USDA, uh, for example, this soil sample as sandy loam. But there are more techniques to understand this distribution. So we, we can use what is called Shannon entropy. Shannon was a mathematician uh, with a wide legacy, scientific legacy in, in several fields of science, as computer science. And Shannon entropy considers different probability in, in a state uh, with a, uh, n, n classes, considering this uh, probability and an eth interval. So. Uh, this, uh, this simple formula has been applied in soil science in, in many cases. For example, to characterize the soil particle size distribution, characterize the development and distribution of soil horizon to derive a soil entropy measure of soil pore size distribution, and to assess pedodiversity in upscaling soil maps. So how does it work? Shannon entropy, when we have a, a homogeneous distribution, is maximum. But when we, had, when we have a, a, a big heterogeneity, like this one, is minimum, is zero. But is, uh, this is when we have an equal interval. But we know that this doesn't happen in, in, in soil texture. When we have some fraction with uh, different lengths of the interval, uh, we can see clay with just this measure in, uh, compared to sun with this one. So in 2001, Martin introduced what was called Valency Entropy Index, which had a multiplier uh, that considered different intervals of soil texture fractions to the Shannon entropy. Um, we, and we can see uh, the, this multiplier, and we consider this, uh, this new lens. So, um, we, we know that with, with this balance entropy index, uh, takes value from 0 to 1, and it provides a continuous parameti uh, parameterization of class, textual classes. So, for example, uh, the minimum value, 0, is clay, and the maximum value is sandy. It's not worthy that this, uh, this, uh, this these uh, values from 0 to 1 depend on the, on the three classes, clay, silt, and, and sand. But if we add or we consider another classification, uh, this value varies significantly. So with this, balance the entropy index uh, has been developed several studies for example, uh, using the soil characterization database of the U.S. Department of Agriculture, and it has, uh, it has been revealed as a promising tool to improve the accuracy of estimated soil hydraulic properties. So, and we can see here this linear relation. So, with all of that, we want to introduce the um, the balance of the entropy index in the Terrac studies, and at the same time, we want to explore the relation with this, between this valency entropy index with some property of the, of the vineyard at a plot scale. So we are, going to, we are going to do this in the Region de Marcada del Duero, in the north of, of Portugal, with a, a, a wide area of which 15% are vineyards with a Atlantic climate condition. Uh, but especially, we want to focus on, in terms of lithology, it consists in uh, igneous rocks and metamorphic rocks. Um, the, so, to, to carry out all this work, we use two main materials, the soil map of the, of, of the Douro region, and this map was elaborated by the team lead um, 
by the Professor Gomez Miguel uh, under the Subidur uh, project, which stands for Sustainability of Viticulture in the area of Douro River. Some numbers to sum up on this map. Uh, we describe 1,217 pro, uh, soil pits. Um, um, so we get 150 soil map units, of which uh, there were um, 211 soil taxonomy units described at this series level. Um, so to sum up all this information, we can say that the mainly soils are anti soils and some uh, in, uh, in dominant, uh, as in dominant as in second soil taxonomy unit, and there are some residual soils in septic soils, mollisons, uh, and alpha soils. Uh, so the spatial distribution of all these soils, we can see here the map of the dominant soil taxonomy unit and here the map of the second soil taxonomy unit. On the other hand, we are going to use the Banjar data sets. So we collect information on uh, 81,000 Banjar plots, uh, collecting information of plant density, grape wine variety, aspect of the soil, etc. So, considering the, the soil map uh, legend, we know that we have information of 70, 78 lithological groups, but we are taking just six, the 16 major groups um, that are spread over the 90% of the Douro River, the Douro region. So, at the end, we have seven groups of igneous rocks and nine groups of metamorphics. Uh, we, we collect, we we gather all of them because they are very similar between them. So now we, we knew that the um, balance CV entropy index has a close relation with, with the volumetric soil water content, as we have said. But at the same time, we know that in Vinger, sorry, Vinger uh, plots and properties, we know that the density plant is close related, it depends on the water content of the soil water content. So this is this could be a link between the balance CV entropy index and the uh, and the uh, some banger pro uh, properties as uh, density plants. So we, we took two approach. One, the average value of the lithological group. If we take the, the, um, the value, uh, the average of the balance CV entropy index value of the lithological groups, and then we calculate the average density plants of in the banjar. As a second approach, we it was like plot by plot, so we take all the of the vineyard plots where uh, soil pits were described, and we use this information and the and the density plan of these plots. So as a uh, as a take a look of the result of all of this. We know that the uh, some the lithological, the metamorphic lithological, the metamorphic rocks are the major in the re Douro re uh, region. The most of the vinja are in this uh, metamorphic rocks too. As uh, occupation index, so the, all these occupation index show that these vinja are mostly placed in the metamorphic lithologies. So, going to the core of the of the work, we can say that uh, we can distinguish two groups uh, uh, of the balance of entropy as balance of entropy index show that there are the igneous rocks and the metamorphic rocks. We, within this group, we can see a close relation between the density plants and the balance of entropy index. So uh, we can see here. Um, so higher values are related with igneous and lower to uh, metamorphics. These uh, high values of bay are related with lower plant density, and this is related too with lower soil water content and field capacity. Considering plot by plot, uh, we now see again how we can distinguish two groups with a higher value of bay with, to the igneous uh, lithology compared to the metamorphic. However, the, the, we can see also some variability, but however of this, uh, we know that this bay can separate these two groups. So all, all in all, of the results, uh, we know that the most important result for us is that it's a measure that we can use it, the bay, as a measure of heterogeneity based on 
on some properties of the landscape, and we can relate it. We can relate this with some management decision of the Wanja. This is for us the, the main result. So, in conclusion, I want to say that we have presented um, the balance of the entropy index as an exploratory study where soil texture heterogeneity was related to one vineyard characteristic, that is the plant density. That soil texture heterogeneity seems to be controlled by the better of lithology. Significant statical difference were found between the, this balance of the entropy index value corresponding to different types of rock, metamorphic and granitic. And granic. As it was expected, this balance of the entropy index is related to the plant density at field scale. This relation follows a negative and linear trend for both types of rock. According to this result, it's incomparable bedrock materials in our study area. Lower balance of the entropy index values are related to higher density de uh, plant density and vice versa. These results are consistent with previous work using the balance of the entropy index. And the final conclusion of all of that is that the bay could potentially be useful in terrain study to understand and predict the outcome of physical and hydraulic process in viticultural soil. So thank you for all your attention.